Hi, I'm Heather Christensen. It's so nice to meet you. I understand that you've been given some money recently and that you'd like to start investing. I think that's wonderful. Okay, so you initially asked me if you should invest in Amdocs Limited. So let's talk about that first. I went through and I did a few valuations on Amdocs so that we could kind of make those decisions together. So first I calculated the present value of free cash flows. So what you haven't really said if you want to like get into the nitty gritty details of things or if you just want like a high level summary. So let's just kind of do something in between and stop me and ask questions or ask me to go into more detail if you would like. So in order to calculate the present value of free cash flows, first I had to project the future, you know, next five years of the income statement. And as you can see, obviously I had to make some assumptions to do that. And so that's why, I mean, anybody could argue that this valuation is wrong due to many of these assumptions, but let's just go with what we have for now. And upon doing this and getting the free cash flows and then taking the present value of them, as you can see here, um, the valuation has it at $17, which means that based on this valuation, the stock price is overvalued at the moment because the current stock price is $65.20. So I was like, okay, well, let's do another valuation because we can't just stick to one valuation. We need to do a few and kind of get an idea of where we're at with things. So next I did the peg ratio. And so the peg ratio basically takes the PE ratio divided by the growth rate times 100 and it should be around one or under one if it's undervalued, but if it's over one, that means that the stock price is currently overvalued. And as you can see, um, it's currently 6.9, which means that based on this valuation, Amdocs Limited stock price is overpriced or overvalued, let's call it overvalued. So next I kind of just did a few comparables. So I picked a few of the different companies within the same industry as Amdocs. And I calculated a few ratios for all of the industries. And then I calculated an average between those to just try and get an idea. And so first I did the current ratio. And unfortunately, Amdocs is lower than the industry average, but it's not the lowest and it's still close. So that's fine, but it is still lower. And then I did the debt to equity ratio and it's higher than the industry average, but only because Optiva is negative, which dragged down the industry average pretty significantly. And then I did the return on assets ratio and it is higher than the industry average. And so that is one that I was like, okay. And then I did the asset turnover ratio and it's higher than the industry average, but it's not the highest. And then the price to book ratio, it's lower than the industry average and basically all the other companies that it's being compared against. And so in my mind, I didn't feel like upon looking at these comparables that I got a resounding, yes, you should invest in Amdocs. I got the other feeling like, you know, it's not really the best in the industry. So it's possible that, you know, maybe we want to look elsewhere. So moving on, I was like, okay, we've got a few things that say that the stock price at 65.20 is currently overvalued. But then I looked into doing, you know, looking at different ratios and seeing how things came along and actually how the market values the company. I actually got a yes, you should buy it, but only slightly. Like if you look at these prices right here, here, we'll get closer. They're, they're not growing significantly. It's like a barely. And then I calculated the dividend discount model, both multi-stage growth and with a constant growth rate. And both of these came out with like resounding, very large future, um, like 
bigger stock prices than what I was expecting. And so I automatically kind of just took these out of our valuation because if you will look at this little table right here and you look at what the stock price has been and the year over year growth for the last three years, you'll see that like dollar wise and percentage wise, the stock price really has not grown that much over the last four years. And so for it to go from 65.20 all the way up to 83 or 221, I felt like was a little absurd. So I pulled those out. And so if you were to look at all of these valuations, I personally would say, let's not invest in Amdocs Limited, but let's talk about our other options. So one of the first things to ask yourself when you're investing is, is this a long-term thing or a short-term thing? Let's assume this is a long-term thing. Now, obviously everyone's going to have their own opinions on how you should do things, but a fantastic resource for gaining insights and opinions on investments would be to read Ben Graham's book. It's called The Intelligent Investor. Even Warren Buffett <laughs> said that of all the investments he's made, buying this book was the best. So for me, I'm like, okay, enough said. Let's read this book and let's figure it out. So my personal um, opinion would be, let's not buy the stock because I feel like it's currently overvalued. And, you know, you're probably thinking, well, at what price would be good? Um, Obviously, our valuations were all over the place, so maybe if it gets down to $17, then we buy. But I think we should also take a look in another direction, and let's look at index funds. So let's set up some more time, and we can review index funds and decide if you'd like to invest in that instead. Thanks so much for coming to see me today.